All right, hey, it's Rob, and uh, just a quick story today. This is the best story about Billy Idol that you never heard. Um, I've said this in other videos. I worked in recording studios in Los Angeles in the early 90s. My first job was at a place called The Record Plant, which is a famous studio in Los Angeles where a lot of big names worked. At the time, we had uh, Crosby, Stills and Nash, Guns N' Roses, Bonnie Raitt, a lot of people doing big records there. And uh, at one point, we had Billy Idol coming in to do something, whatever he was working on at the time. And um, I was uh, promoted recently <laughs> at that job because I started as the parking lot attendant. And at this point, I had been uh, promoted to the <laughs> midnight to 8 a.m. janitor. So things were looking up in my life. Uh, I hated it. I sucked at being a janitor. I didn't know anything about it. I mixed like ammonia and bleach on the first day and, you know, almost passed out. Anyway, so Billy Idol was there uh, late one night. Like I said, I was there all night. Uh, I think it was <laughs> like five days a week and then... I think on Saturday I was there from 8 to 8, not even midnight to 8. I don't know. It sucked. It was a terrible shift. Yeah. I was there all the time, and all I was doing was cleaning the place up. So I would interact with these famous people as they would, you know, walk up and down the hall or whatever. And uh, so at this point, uh, it was late. Matter of fact, I think I had even fallen asleep. And I woke up because uh, Billy Idol start, uh, was coming down the hall making some noise because he had a girl on each arm. So he had his arms outstretched and there was a girl on this side and a girl on that side. I don't know who they were, but uh, they were all coming down the hall, all three of them. And the other thing I noticed was that Billy was naked. <laughs> and uh, he wasn't actually 100% naked because he uh, was wearing a sock. Um, he was wearing a sock, but yeah, it wasn't on his foot. So, that's the kind of stuff you, uh, get to experience working in an environment like that. And, uh, he tried to order a pizza at like four o'clock in the morning and, uh, wasn't happening. I couldn't find any pizza at that point, but, uh, so he turned around and headed back down the hall with the two girls and, uh, his sock. <laughs> 